Good morning, Bamban. Looking for food? Okay. Where are you where do you think you're going? It's a beautiful day today. Probably 65, I think last time I checked. And Clara is finally in labor. Or at least she lost her ligaments and she's being super loud. <laughs> as soon as I get in there, then she'll quiet down. Everyone is super worried about Grammys and moms, right? So everyone is kind of going crazy, following me everywhere, wanting to go in with Clara. I was not as prepared as I thought. I couldn't find the towels. I had a couple, but I needed more, um, just in case, because sometimes it gets slimy and, you know, it doesn't clean wet very well. I needed to still sanitize lamp puller just in case. Hopefully I don't have to use it. I have to pull the water and all the things, but hopefully we'll have babies by the end of the day. Now I'm in here and she just quiet down. <laughs> she just doesn't want to be alone in here. She wants me to be in here with her. Now when the little girls try to get in here, <laughs> She quickly pushed them out, like, get out of here. I just want my favorite person to be with me right now. She's gotta worry about what's going on outside, which leads me to believe that she's not ready yet. The only thing that will make her stop eating <laughs> Brushing her puts her in a trance. <laughs> she loves it. She just wants to lay down, but she can't make up her mind.
breathing hard and it's you can hear it's 2 30. So it's been a couple of hours. And she's not interested in chewing stuff. Very noticeable, but she hasn't stretched the back legs or anything. So I'm gonna turn off the light and I'm gonna let her rest for a bit longer while she still can. Her ears relax now. As soon as she comes back into bed, they'll go straight up. yourself a perfect bed? Up here? Up here there's hay. Right here. If you're hungry. alpha pellets and see if she gets up and then check her again. What is that? 
What does that look? Your hopes are long again. You're such a lazy girl. Look. There's no game here. She just doesn't want to do it on. Look, Claire. Oh, oh there you go. It's 7 in the morning of Saturday, next day, I'm gonna go check on Clara. I checked on her several times throughout the night. I almost didn't sleep, honestly, <laughs> because she still has her ligaments gone. But now let's check, hoping that she didn't have any babies in the middle of the night, when, since the last time I checked. Good morning! Hi! Good morning! Good morning, girl! I checked her and their lig the ligaments are back. Which... I've heard before, so I'm not saying that it's super weird or that I didn't feel them. Last night, um, every time I checked, those ligaments were gone. I was sure she was gonna have them yesterday. But now, when I checked, I, I can feel them. And I wonder myself several times, you know, is this what you were feeling? You want to come out? Come on. You were crying because you wanted to come out. Or is it that you want me to come in? Okay. Good girl. Okay. You can go to sleep if you want. Are you super tired? You look like you had a long night. Did you? Did you have a long night? Good day. So, again, just to recap, her ligaments are back. Now, you're probably wondering, is that even a thing? Well, that's actually a thing. Uh, it never happened to me before. I feel like, you know, it's sometimes when they're at the last minute, they're hard to find. But in this point, at this point, I can tell you that her ligaments are back. Um, the one easy way to know that that was happening, that they are in action, that there has been a change, is that the tip, you know, you check for ligaments and then when they are ready, and I forgot about this, but when I felt it on Clara yesterday, I was like, oh, okay. Now I remember, there's no doubt she's having babies. Uh, when they lose their ligaments, the bottom, so it comes in a, in a V. So uh, let's say that it goes like this, okay? So in the middle is the spine, and it goes like that. Okay, so the space that is in between these two fingers, that turns into something that feels like you're pressing on play-doh that has water. It feels weird. It's like soft, but it feels liquidy. It's a very interesting thing, but without a doubt, that's what it is. Um, so I knew immediately when I felt that, oh my goodness, now I remember this is what it's supposed to feel like. Um, I 
mentioned to you guys that I was talking to Yvette and he was saying that there is such thing as an induction or inducing a goat if she's too late. But, um, you know, in that same conversation, we agreed that since I had to put her twice with Rocky, there's a strong possibility that she got pregnant the second time and not the first time. Now, if she did get pregnant on the 28th, her due date would be next Monday. So she still has five more days after that to actually deliver those babies. So until the 25th, it'd be a safe bet, I guess, to keep guessing. And um, it is it is so frustrating. And not only I found the ligaments, but the squishy uh, feeling that she had in between that V, it's gone. I mean, it's soft, but it's not the same way that feels kind of liquidy and doughy. I think that she was also dealing with something with her rumen yesterday, stomach or something, and she just like, I've massaged uh, her rumen when I realized that she was not feeling the greatest and that helped I think and she ended up falling asleep uh, hopefully I added that to the video but she slept for hours and I thought to myself well she clearly doesn't have any contractions because if she did she would have waken up from that deep sleep I mean I've never in my entire life seen a goat sleep that deep um, she wasn't really and I caught it on camera because I thought that was very weird. But she just wanted me there. And every time I would leave, she'd wake up and cry or, you know, be a little bit of a um, drama queen. And so the two-headed monster is here. Hey, hey, hi, Annabelle. That's my other head of the monster. And you asked for it. If you just like to be on her face, it's okay. Keep just being a little silly boy. Just being a silly boy and a silly girl. Oh, you can go check it out. Next week, there's a big storm that is coming our way. Where it's gonna be raining and there's a strong possibility of snow. Uh, it was supposed to be this weekend, but it kind of moved to Monday and we're gonna be in the 20s so of course the dates that we are now sure that she should deliver between the 20th and 25th which is monday uh, through saturday next week are possibly gonna be frigid call at night so i'm gonna have to keep a close eye on her and make sure that she doesn't lose her ligaments a night and end up delivering in those temperatures because of that I have a lot to prepare and things to do around here um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing I mean pretty pretty and no biting oh you want kiss here I'll kiss you. I'll kiss you. No, biting my jacket. No. Mm. I'll kiss you, but you can't bite me. You can't bite me. Mm. Ah, you don't like that, young lady, huh? 